So to make our pudding, what we're gonna do is uh, take whatever flavor of pudding that you want. We're doing vanilla pudding today. We also have uh, chocolate and salted caramel. And we're gonna put this into our bowl. And just reading the recipe on the back of the uh, pouch, it adds two cups of milk, so we're gonna do that. Our prep bowls are great for that. They have markings on uh, both sides, so we've got cups and milliliters, and this is one cup. And you can use any kind of milk that you like, if that's soy milk, or almond milk, or rice milk, whatever floats your boat, cow's milk, goat's milk, all will work. putting into our prep bowls and I'm going to put our lids on them. These are silicone which means they're microwave and fridge and freezer and dishwasher and all the things safe and you just push all the way around the edges and push down in the center and it'll burp it which I learned from friends at another company and these will all go in the fridge and be ready to go and have for easy to grab desserts. We are going to make our souvlaki. So I've uh, pre-cut up and sliced some boneless air chilled chicken breasts and we are going to cut up some peppers. This is using our prep pro knife. This is a ceramic knife. What's great about ceramic is that it doesn't rust and also it helps prevent your vegetables from browning quickly. So for example, for apples or avocados, uh, because it's ceramic, it doesn't oxidize in the same way or speed that uh, the metal does. So it'll keep things uh, from going brown too quickly. It also comes with a guard, which is my favorite part because I'm quite clumsy. Fancier ways to cut a pepper than this as well, but I go for function. And I actually don't mind the seeds, so I don't really fuss about that either. These are all going just right in the steamer with the chicken and our steamers are food grade silicone. What's gonna happen is all the food is gonna steam in there and it's actually a healthy way of cooking that keeps all the nutrients in rather than, for example, if you boil your food, all the nutrients go out with the water. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And it's a fast way of cooking as well. So this is gonna go in our microwave, but our steamers also are dishwasher and fridge and freezer and uh, oven is safe as well, just not a barbecue. And this here is our cutting board. I like it because it has these little rubber feet on it, so it keeps it from sliding around. Have our souvlaki seasoning. This comes in our Good Greek Real Fast meal kit. And I'm using the four in one spice spoon. Two tablespoons go in. And what's cool about this spoon is it is a tablespoon on this side. And over here, it's a teaspoon. On the back, you flip it over. There's a little line right there. It's a quarter teaspoon and a half teaspoon, so it's four different measurements. It's actually designed by our industrial designer to fit right into our jars. I don't know about you, but I've definitely tried to slam a spoon into a jar more times than I should have. So that's our souvlaki seasoning. And the next thing is our lemon juice. So I'm gonna cut the lime in half, use our two-in-one citrus press. This is where limes go, this is where lemons go, and until, unfortunately, way too recently, I thought they go this way, but they don't, because what happens when you squeeze it is all the juice will stay in the rind, so you actually want to flip it over, and each, a lemon, on average, each has about two tablespoons of juice, so if you want one tablespoon like we do, you need about half a lemon. We're just going to squeeze that all over our mixture here. that up a little bit. Smells delicious. And all of this is ready to go and it's gonna go in the microwave for eight to 10 minutes. Everybody's microwave is a little bit different and you'll get to know your own as well. Now we're going to make Greek dressing and I'm just reading the instructions on the back of the jar. So we're doing three quarters of a cup of olive oil and we're putting this into our cruet which has measurements on the whole, uh, up the whole side, so we'll be able to see that. And this is a funnel, which is perfectly designed to fit into our jar. Right, and next we've got a 
quarter cup of red wine vinegar. So this is going to make a cup of dressing. And you don't actually have to put this in the fridge. A lot of people think salad dressing has to go in the fridge, but that's just the stuff from the grocery store. Ours you can leave out. If you put it in the fridge, the olive oil will solidify, which is fine. It's not a big deal just uh, if that happens. Once you take it out of the fridge, if you go like this with it, um, between your hands, it'll warm it up and it'll um, melt the, the olive oil. And the last thing is two tablespoons, I think, two tablespoons of our uh, Greek dressing mix. Next we're going to make some tzatziki, so I've got a cucumber here and I'm just going to use our 4-in-1 mandolin to grate up some of that cucumber. Be super, super careful because this is very sharp. And so what you have here are some little matchstick pieces of uh, zucchini, or of cucumber. Mix that in with some Greek yogurt. And some lemon dilly dip mix. And voila, that's it.